Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to episode 3 of my blind let's play of Pokemon Sun where last time was crazy. I mean, I only just recorded it but the fact that we actually went into the world, we put ourselves in danger and not just kind of wading into the tall grass and then being told by Professor Oak to come back. We actually went into danger threw ourselves over a Pokemon while Spearow were attacking us. And then the Pokemon did something that the bridge collapsed, the Spearow went away, and then the Guardian came and swooped us up. And then we find out that, found out that the mysterious girl from the first episode with all those shady people in white suits, her name is Lily. She is the assistant of Kukui, who's like the professor on the island. And then we found out Hala, which is the Kahuna of the island, who's kind of like the powerful trainer most powerful trainer, I think, on the Mele Mele Island. We're in Iki Town. We were on the Amo, uh, Mahola Trail, which was where we, and the Guardian is called Kapu Koko. I think I have all the names. I think I've got it. So now here we are. We have the decision of which starter Pokemon we're going to choose. Just to explain, in my thing, and Poplio just never really was when I was considering, which is maybe a fault on my part, but I'm sorry, Pop Leo. So it's come down to Rowlet and Litten. I was initially, I was all in on Rowlet, but then over time, the cat and look, Litten looks so cute. However, I've seen what they all turn into. That has fully um, inspired who I'm going to go with. And because of it, there's no question. I am choosing the grass type Rowlet. Oh, my days are nearly <laughs> went with Poplio. The grass type Rowlet. Yes, this little guy is going to be mine. Yes! We have a Pokemon. Rowlet is our friend. He's got a bow tie. He's looking real cool. And he's going to be our buddy through this adventure. All right. So in terms of nicknames, I don't know if we get to do it now. Oh my days to be jump into my arms! I want to be your friend. Look at him, he's like hi, hello. Oh, does that see? This is this is good. Will it choose me? Maybe it won't. I mean, I'm looking to be nice. Come on, come on, join me. Look at my beautiful blue eyes. That's this kid. Oh my day, this is so cute. Cuckoo. Oh. Oh, not in his head. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is so good. That Lily girl's face is crazy. I got my brown in. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Oh, that's so good. Cuckoo. <laughs> I'm so happy. It looks a little bit tickled. <laughs> I've accepted you as well. Awesome. I wonder if that maybe... It would be too much to ask if it changed depending on what it's like personality type is. Um, oh, that's so good. Do we get to pick a nickname for it? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Oh, this is so good. Right. So I was thinking of like a naming theme, what I would want to go for. So it's a guy. Um, and I was thinking I would go for, I don't know if I've done naming themes on here. I do them all the time when it's just me playing by myself. Um, but I thought I would go for like film characters because that seems broad enough that there is many a film character, characters, not the actors. Um, and I thought that would be really good. Um, what I'm gonna do, just also at the bottom, you'll notice I've got like a little box and it'll say um, Rowlet, or maybe not in a moment. It will it will say whatever I've nicknamed Rowlet. Um, just because I'm not gonna have actual pictures of the Pokemon, just because I don't want to risk looking up Pokemon. And then that spoils more things for me. I want it to kind of be um, organic when I meet new Pokemon, so it's just gonna have their name just so you know and like why is what Pokemon does he have? It's just gonna have the name um, Just because I don't want to risk spoiling stuff for me um, so For Rowlet given that I know it's final evolution. Do I have my Phone I just want to check that I do this right. I feel I can just go on Safari and it won't screw up my recording I feel like that's okay I just want to check, um, I have a character in mind, but I just want to make sure that I do the name right and don't, like, mess it up. So, we are going to call it Flynn, 
and that is spelt right awesome. And that is based on Flynn Ryder from Tangled, who I hope you all know because he is an awesome film character. And also it will make sense when we get to the end, I think, the kind of vibe I'm going for. Um, yeah, we'll see. I think Flynn's a good name for my little Rowlet with his bow tie. There was potential to go for like Doctor Who because of Matt Smith, but I'm happy. Lily, nice to meet you, Rowlet. Um, pew! See, I want, what, what is this thing? This thing looks crazy. I wonder if it's like part legendary or not. I mean, it looks awesome. I want to find one for myself. Ooh, when did you get out again? I know that Kahuna Hal and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should still stay in the bag out of sight. It's safer that way. I think you should, you chose a wonderful Pokemon. Please take good care of it. I will do my best. I try and take care of my Pokemon. You're a real trainer. Here's a gift. What are you gonna give me, man? Oh, a Pokédex! Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the thing, again, I kind of know, but the, the Pokemon Rotom, which started in Diamond and Pearl, I think, it, you could put it in different objects and it would turn into different types. It's that, I think, which powers the Pokédex. I think? Or, I don't know, maybe that's something they'll come across later. Trainer Passport I put together for you. So I guess it, the passport would help us go to these different islands. Awesome, so now we're meant to show our mum. So, sweet, so let's just have a look. Pokedex, could we use this straight off the bat? I guess so. Here we are, we got a little Rowlet. It's just chilling, look at it, it's beautiful. It uses photosynthesis to store up energy during the day while becoming active at night. I mean, to be honest, that's pretty much me. <laughs> I store up energy during the day and become active at night. So this is awesome. Look at the Rowlet, can we like... Oh, I'm so happy! <laughs> Sorry. It's just something about starting a new Pokemon game, finally having your little friend who's gonna be with you the whole time. 22 health, that seems high. This feels like a high quality Rowlet leafage, whoa. Pelting target with leaves. All right, that sounds good. Um, calm nature. Calm, I think, is something about defense, which is good. Special defense, maybe? I'm not very good at these sort of things. Special offense will lower attack, which I don't know if Rowlet's going to be a special or a physical attacker. Maybe a physical attacker, so that's not great. But who cares about that? Because... Stats and stuff are, are overrated. It's about the character. We have our little Flynn, who is our Rowlet. So now we're let's go back home, and maybe we can battle some of the trainers in this an initial bit of grass. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, I know who this guy is. Hey, you and me, let's have a Pokemon battle. Oh, well, we straight in there. <laughs> Where's the fire, boy? <laughs> what kind? Of that was such a good line. Would that be where you don't even give a name first? That's pretty good. Pretty fair. <laughs> Where's the fire? Ah, oh, he's trolling. Fair enough, then I'm how? And my partner's Poplio. Your Rowlet really looks really odd. My Rowlet really looks really cool too, I thought I was saying. Um, thanks? <laughs> That's probably good. Let's battle. Okay, so how I kind of know from the demo is kind of a dude. He is, of course, he's a dude, but he's like a, a, a rival you'll have in the game. Um, Pokemon get hurt, but I'll watch for you. So, I guess, like, Lily kind of seems that in Diamond, Platinum, and Pearl, you kind of had, I think, was it Barry who was your, like, actual rival? But then there was also Dawn who was, like, the assistant. Um, but I guess who was kind of also, like, depending on whether you're a boy or a girl, it kind of, like, flipped. Um... But yeah, oh, can I just run away? Oh my days, I can totally bail. <laughs> I can totally leave him behind! I know, I'm not going to, that's so good. <laughs> uh, I wonder if it would force me to come back. Um, yeah, let's fight, let's fight. Uh, maybe you can go like train up a bit and then come back. But I feel, let's go. How is our rival? Let's start this off right. This is our very first Pokemon battle in the Alola region. He's limbering up. He is ready. He's got Poplio. Let's see this little guy. Boom. He's on his tail. He's looking pretty cool. But we got Flynn. We got Flynn Rider the Rowlet. He's ready to go. And we are just going to bust a move. We're going to fight. I love this little battle screen. Um, and we're just going to leafage it out. 
Get a super effective kapow! Boom, right in the face. Oh my days, that did not do super much. Water gun, we can take this, we got good health. Nice, only three damage, you suck Pop Leo. I mean, you're good, but in the context of this battle, you suck, because we are much better. Leafage, putting in the time, one more and we'll be fine. The pound, not gonna do enough, Pop Leo. I'm sorry, Flynn's got his first victory. Beautiful critical hit as well to finish. Awesome. Get that experience points. We level up. We level up. Awesome. Flynn grows to level six. Beautiful. Special attack goes up. Good. Good. Nice. You defeated how? We're one one and oh people. We are <laughs> we are undefeated in this game. Awesome. Defeated. I'm loving Flynn. Flynn feels good. Flynn feels awesome. Hooey! That game. That gave me chicken. I'm... What does that even mean? Your hello is awesome! <laughs> now that sells it, I'm going all out tomorrow. Oh, my days. Is that my stone? Oh, why? Will you be so kind give me a look at the sparkling stone you have there? Okay, what is this? So this was just beside the bridge. I don't know how... Could it be? That is... What? What is it? Rescue, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it rescued me. Um, so it's even going to give you a stone? You meant to meet. Mate, you just stole my stone. You're smiling all. Everyone's smiling! You just flat out robbed me! Festival tomorrow. Okay, that's cool. I like a wee festival. So yeah, you're home back safe. Lil, you should come with us too. Losing you twice in one day, or that precious twice in one day, so... I'm confused. When did she get... I see the timeline is like a little bit vague, because it was three months. Between when we had that web chat and when we came here, and the stuff with Lily seemed to happen in the middle. So is it already tomorrow? Are we going to get a party at night? Rowlet, um, I want Rowlet to meet Meowth and be like buddies. <laughs> nice. I think I'm falling in love. Why did you choose a sweetheart? Because it's cute. Because it's cool. Because it's cute. It's cute. It's Pokemon. <laughs> They're all cute. But this one especially. It's because I say this charmer. Charmer is definitely cute and cool. Nice. Great. Awesome. Meowth. <laughs> Meowth. If it tries to like eat Rowl, it would be awful. I know that, like, that would be, like, just, like, goes, I want to. <laughs> Which is what my cats seem to do often. They try and eat birds or herd birds, which is not great. But it's just the way it is the next day. <laughs> uh, Mum just likes breathing in the air. Sunset finally unpacked. Good vibes. Question marks. The doorbell. I'm always seeing the doorbell. How's Meowth doing? Wow. <laughs> it's always a question with Meowth. Always a little bit of uncertainty. So Rowlet, I'm just chilling. What's happening? This guy just keeps barging in our door. What's his deal, Kukui? Bad time we set up for the festival, like. I'm, I'm, maybe a slight constructive criticism. It feels like you're, I don't know if they need to come and take you to the festival. If it's just at the same place, you know where it is. So you can just like get there, okay? But, I mean, as I hopefully he's not just like... Okay, he's still telling us. Pretend <laughs> your Pokemon needs agility. Okay, we're going this way instead. Um, hopefully I can... I'm gonna go this way and see if those trainers... Oh, dude. Okay, 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 okay. I guess I have to go this way, but... Oh, my days, look at this. Look at this sun. Look at this sea. It's beautiful. Okay, so this is officially Route 1. Okay. Which I guess we're gonna need to go through to get to the festival this time. Or he's gonna show us to do something with wild Pokemon. Got Rowlet. There, you can not only fight wild Pokemon, you can also try to catch them. Okay, that's good. That's good. Let's catch some stuff. I wanna go. Can you show me? I wanna know if these strangers like me. Okay, Picky, Picky Peck. Again, I've seen from the demo, Picky Peck is one of the few I know. Is a thing. Picky Peck. Fight. 
Just tackle. Okay, we're just gonna. I'm assuming you, like me, know how to catch Pokemon. We'll just let this roll. Um, so happy we've got Rowlet, our little Flynn. Um, awesome. Really happy about that. Um, Litten looks really cute, but it's just. To be frank, I don't really like how it turns into its final evolution. Like, I was hoping it was going to keep the cat-like feel all the way through. At the, at the end, it's still a cat, but it's like on like its back legs, and it's more like a... Like... A weird, like... Crazy tiger thing, which is standing on like its hind legs, and it's just like walking about like, I'm evil! Uh, which it wasn't necessarily what I wanted from Litten. Um, but that's just the way it is. I'm sure eventually I will end up using whatever the name is of the last evolution. Um, okay, so I hope you all learned how to catch Pokemon there. Um, because me being an absolute professional, I know how to catch them. I've got I've got the Charizard and the Dragonite on Pokemon Go. I'm a pro. I know what's up. Dragonite was my second Pokemon. We got my Bulbasaur. Then I got my Dragonite. That was it. We have 10 Pokeballs. Okay, so we can finally catch some people who we are going to add to the team. Little adventure, okay. That's good. Adventure times. Now, now will he let us go back? Surely he can't shout. Okay, he definitely can't shout from where he is. That's good. Right, I want to... We're breaking the game. Oh my, this is a Tauros. Okay, we're not. Or is this a, a sneaky side mission? Nope, we're just not gonna... We're just not... Okay, Taurus is stopping our path. I mean, at least they go to the bother of blocking it with some sort of... Jolly social interaction where there's this crazy Taurus which is freaking out. I like how Taurus is in this. Giving Taurus a roll, here we are. We're gonna be able to catch our very first Pokemon. Who's it gonna be? It is... It is a Picky Peck. A Picky Peck, okay. Right, we gotta be careful here. I think I'm just gonna do one tackle and then go for the Pokeball because Picky Peck will be super effective if it has any flying moves. I'm not sure if we'll maybe use Picky Peck just because Flynn is like a flying type. Um, but we'll see. We want it at least to add to the squad. Everyone is getting a nickname. No one is getting ignored. This is the thing about Rowlet. It'll like look, turn its head back to be like, what do you want me to do in the middle of a battle? Come on, in the Pokeball. You in. We in. We in! First Pokeball, first Pokeball. Picky Peck is ours. Picky Peck is a flying type Pokemon. I'm gonna need to try and be quick on the nickname so they might be a little dodge. Um, I kinda like Picky Peck. It reminds me that my American football team is the Cardinals and I like how it's got this red like swoop. Um, and it's in a Pokedex. It's in. Awesome. Registered! Look at the colors. It can peck at a rate of 16 times a second to drill holes in trees. It uses the holes for food, storage, and for nesting. Woodpecker Pokemon. Wonderful. Um, what should I give a nickname to Pick Peck? This is going to need to be quick on the ball, which means some of these nicknames might be super dodgy. It is a lady, a lady who is in films. There are some ladies who are in films. What are their characters called? I am going to... Try and think up something really cool, and I'll be back in just one second. Okay, we're back through the power of editing. Um, I've spent a good 10 minutes trying to work out this name, but I've gone for a little bit of an obscure one. But when I like found it, I actually like typed up bird film characters because <laughs> I was like... I don't know. I was struggling for a name. I need to be quicker with these. I kept I kept getting fixed on like Pixar films. I was like, I can't think of one. I can't think of one. All I can think of is Jesse from Toy Story, which maybe would have been a fine name. I should have just rolled with. But just in case we come across some crazy cowboy, cowgirl Pokemon, I want to keep that one in the bag. So I've gone for Mar for Margolo, which. For those of you people who know where it's from, well done to you. If you don't, it is from Shirt Little 2. It's that, like, canary, which um, is being, like, hunted by this, like, falcon, I think. And it's in, like, some crazy plot. Little Shirt Little and the kid from the Little Vampire and Hugh Laurie are all in it. Margolo is the name for our little piggy peck. Awesome. Um, our second Pokemon 
who will we will add to our party for now. Let's see. This episode is kind of getting on. I want to see if we can catch one more thing in this wonderful little, wonderful little patch of grass. What we got here? Anything new? Can we find ourselves? Oh my days, a ladybug! Whoa, ladybug! A second generation Pokemon. What are you doing all the way over here? Nice little ladybug Pokemon. I am going to give you a wee tackle, and then I'm gonna throw a wee Pokeball at you. All right, come on, come on, let's go, let's go. I think I can give you one more tackle. We can get. We're just gonna see. This is the thing. We there's no. Oh, we killed it. Ladybug. Care? What's this? What's care? What is this thing? Whoa, 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 whoa! What is that? Oh my word! Give your Pokemon tender, loving care, pet them gently, and make them affectionate to you. Which is, I guess, is like the Poke a me thing. Poke beans. Get them a cafe. When they can get dirty in battle, make them clean with grooming. It also heals status conditions such as poison or paralysis. You can switch the Pokemon you care for. Battle with zest. Okay. Whoa, I wanna... I wanna get some rid of some of these little... Things. Whoa. Rowlet, look at you. You're all clean. Can I give you... Do I have any beans? I can give you a bean. Let's give you a green bean. Eat it. He did. Whoa! <laughs> oh my days, this is so good! Right, I wanna... No, let's leave the beans. No more beans for you. Don't want you to get a little bit chubby. Okay, you're back. Okay. Awesome. Okay, well maybe leave it there. We kind of got caught up in that thing. Um... But yeah, thank you very much for watching. This has been episode 3 of my blind let's play of Pokemon Sun. Next episode, we're going to go to this festival, maybe catch something more along the way. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you next time. Take care.